Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to my brothers and sisters in Islam. Assalamu to everyone else. This is Ali. I promised myself that I wouldn't make a video in response to this individual. Uh, however, I felt it later on to be necessary. So now here I am. I'm responding to a video made by a user by the name of AntiBU. Um, he attempted to capitalize on my recent video regarding moderate covering for fanatics uh, by responding to it, saying that he agreed with my uh, general point, however, did not agree because he has never seen any Muslims standing up against the fanatics or um, speaking out against them. Uh, and then he went on to use MS Paint to then paint the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu uh, just for the sake of making other people upset. And I guess because he wanted to test to see if I would say anything. Um, this was in response also to recent events uh, from the South Park creators who had depicted the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and um, they later received death threats from a fringe group of Muslims. Now, I had actually not heard of the South Park situation until like a day earlier uh, when I received a message online, somebody had asked me about it. I condemned their actions. I also said that the cartoonists were wrong for what they did. Um, I think the cartoonist uh, did something inappropriate, but at the same time I think that the Muslims who responded to that in such a way uh, did something even more wrong. So, I mean, that's my honest opinion on it. Now, what I want to respond to in this video, before getting to the updates, is that I find it rather pathetic, if you don't mind me saying, that uh, this individual and several others would try to capitalize on my views um, only to spout their bigotry even further. Um, so basically because they have never seen on their own language speaking channels, uh, news channels, uh, because they have not seen in their own news outlets uh, condemnation from Muslims. Apparently it doesn't exist. You know, I guess we moderates don't exist. Um, I guess when I get up here and make a distinction between myself and a fanatic, or other Muslims out there around the world, make the distinction between themselves and fanatics uh, um, who condemn 9-11, who condemn terrorist acts, I guess all these scholars out there who are making fatwas that condemn terrorism, uh, they're not speaking out against the fanatics, apparently. I mean, I guess they're just not really moderates. I guess they're all just lying. Yeah. Um, I guess if the news isn't in English or some other European language, it must not be news. Because, you know, people in Pakistan, you know, who are speaking Urdu uh, and getting blown up every single day by the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, you know, and, and they're flashing news, like, on the hour about these events and condemning these terrorist acts, I guess, you know, they're not really speaking the truth. It's not really happening because you don't understand their language. Yeah. I guess when somebody speaks Arabic, it's not worth listening to. You know, I just really find it pathetic, this sort of European uh, Eurocentricism, this, 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 this Western mentality, you know, out there that I used to have you know, out there, this, this Western mentality out there that says, well, if they don't act like us and they don't talk like us, it's not worth listening to. That's the reason you don't hear about moderates. That's the reason you don't hear about moderates, because you are too intellectually lazy to go out and actually find this stuff. Seriously. You know, I had another user comment below uh, the video saying, well, until we see moderates saying things, we have all the right to say that this is what Islam teaches and the fanatics are basically the same as everybody else. And this is absurd. No, just because you're intellectually lazy, because you can't think for yourself, because you can't bother to go out there and do some basic research, because all the information you get on Islam is from Skeptic's Annotated Bible or um, Richard Dawkins' website, and that does not mean that we moderates don't exist, and that does not mean that Muslims um, are not out there talking against these things, speaking out against these things, and that does not mean that Islam teaches terrorism. Okay. I just find it extremely pathetic that you would come on here agreeing with my general point that uh, moderates do not cover for fanatics, yet still espouse that view, 
you know, thinking it to be rational, even though it's just simply a bigoted, ignorant opinion. I mean, I'm upset about this. And the reason I'm upset about this is that you don't really agree. The only reason that you wanted to respond to my video was, you know, basically to throw a temper tantrum. You know, about, oh, well, this is not what I see, okay? And I have a right to be upset. I have a right to be upset because, you know, I'm the one who goes out in public every single day and people are giving me weird stares and giving me, you know, weird looks because of the bigotry that you spread about my people. All right. I have to worry about my future wife, my future kids. I have to worry about, you know, my friends and their family members. I have to worry about their wives and their children. I have to worry about every time I go to a masjid, whether it's going to get shot up or not. Okay, this isn't paranoia. This has happened. I have to worry about myself and others that I love getting hurt because you guys are too freaking lazy to think beyond these misconceptions or these stereotypes. You see a moderate even, myself, saying, oh, what these fanatics are doing is wrong. You see us saying that, and instead of, you know, acknowledging the fact that there are moderates out there, you say I'm just making excuses for my religion. That my religion really teaches that I should go out and bomb people. So it's not me who's condoning these sort of things, it's you guys. You're the ones who are saying that the fanatics are right about Islam. That is what Islam is. You guys are covering for them more than we are. We're the only ones speaking out. You're saying that they're wrong, but this is what Islam is. And you put us all in the same basket. You know, really, we shouldn't even have to be speaking out. We really shouldn't even have to be speaking out. The mere fact that we do distance ourselves from them, that we do distinguish ourselves from them, should be enough for you to consider that we are not them and that our beliefs are not theirs. And if that isn't enough, then I'm sorry. It's not my problem. It's your problem. It is only my problem in the sense that I have to deal with people like you on a daily basis who seek to simply condemn me and to hate me and to make fun of me and to try to provoke me rather than see me as a human being and believe exactly what comes out of my mouth. When I say I believe a certain thing, I mean that. Okay, I'm not being dishonest. I'm not lying to you in your face. I'm not trying to hide the facts from you. Okay, this is your paranoia. I'm sick of this, really. If you're going to respond, fine. Respond to my video, disagree with me, whatever. But stop acting like children. You think you're all intellectually superior because of your skepticism. Yet, I see none of that. All I see is whining and the, the continuing bigotry of your viewpoint. That's really all I need to say. And if that doesn't get through your head, well, I don't know what will. Salam.